It takes thousands of people to bring together the moment of magic in horse racing, the start of a race. The watchful eyes of California Horse Racing Board stewards make this the cleanest race in the world. Beyond the crowds, the color, and the excitement, there is much more to racing. Racing is... Protecting this valuable industry is the responsibility of the California Horse Racing Board, a state regulatory agency empowered by California voters in 1933 to encourage agriculture, generate state revenue, and protect the public interest. Spearheading the CHRB's enforcement efforts are a panel of three stewards at every racetrack. These stewards oversee virtually every aspect of the sport from the moment the day begins. Morning workouts are rehearsals for the real thing. For many, it is the most romantic time at a racetrack, with the sunlight framing the breathtaking majesty of horses flush from the heat of exercise. As horses prepare to exercise, a clocker at trackside relays their names to colleagues upstairs, who are responsible to the stewards for accurately reporting official workout times to the public. These clockings must be precise because they reflect a horse's fitness, and they can greatly influence how people wager on a race. Activities in the stable area each morning involve grooms, hot walkers, blacksmiths, veterinarians, and many other professionals. The thousands of people who put on the racing show are seldom seen by the public, but they always work under the vigilance of the California Horse Racing Board. Anyone who enters the stable area must be licensed or approved by the stewards. By 7 a.m., two official veterinarians are making their rounds. Every horse scheduled to run today gets checked for health and soundness to protect the horse and the betting public. Any sense of heat in the leg would indicate soreness. The lip tattoo helps identify the horses and prevents mix-ups. Veterinarians inspect all of the 70 or more horses running each day. Previously unsound horses must prove to the vet they are back on their game. In order to run this horse again or to enter, they have to work for me five eighths of a mile, 103 or better, to show me that the horse is sound and, and qualified to run. So the horse is on its way, and as soon as it gets here, we'll, uh, they'll point the horse out to us. The horse will work the five eighths, then come back and jog to me here to see whether the horse is sound or not. Then we'll go back to the barn from where the horse uh, is and, and take a, a blood sample, make sure they're not trying to cheat us. <laughs> you guys, did you find out time on personal profit yet? For the vet? This horse finished the supervised workout in high spirits. A blood test will make sure there were no inappropriate drugs used to mask the horse's problems. Security is one of the highest priorities established by the California Horse Racing Board. The CHRB is proud of its record of enforcing security at every racetrack in California.
the licensing process begins at the racing board office where helpful technicians acquire all of the required information from applicants. The fingerprint cards will be checked by the Department of Justice for criminal backgrounds. The CHRB can deny a license to anyone convicted of a felony. CHRB field investigators check for potential problems in the barn area, where more than 2,000 horses are stabled at some tracks. Investigators police the stable area and pay surprise visits to barns. Alert for violations ranging from brawling to possession of illegal drugs. Even racing's most venerated trainers are subject to investigative checks. Charlie Whittingham, who has spent a lifetime advancing this great sport, has his barn checked just like everyone else in the stable area. Investigators are alert for anything out of place, particularly stimulants, depressants, and hypodermic syringes, which are prohibited in the stable area except in the possession of veterinarians for proper use. Violations lead to hearings before the stewards. A serious violation can result in loss of license. The trainer must satisfy investigators that all employees are properly licensed. The trainer is ultimately accountable to the CHRB for all activities in the barn. By 10 a.m., the races that will be run 48 hours from now begin to take shape. Trainers fill out entry cards and jockey agents confirm the riding assignments for each horse. When enough qualified horses are entered in all the races scheduled by the track's racing secretary, it is time to determine the post positions for each event. My Liberty Advocate, New York. To ensure fairness, post positions are drawn by lot for each race. A CHRB steward is always present during the draw to guarantee its integrity. Final confirmation of jockeys completes one race, and the draw for post positions begins another. As the early birds arrive at the track, the horses in the first race are sent to the receiving barn. The process is check and double check for soundness and identification. While the horses get ready, so do another important element of the race, the jockeys. Jockeys spend their free time looking over the day's card and planning their racing strategy. But there is one ironclad rule they must obey. They cannot bet. All riders report to the jockey's room an hour before the first race. Before each race, all riders must be weighed with saddle and pad in hand and with additional lead weights if necessary to make sure they weigh the required amount. Any overweights are announced to the public. Twenty-five minutes to post time. Horses arrive at the saddling paddock, where the public can get a first look at them. As the last pieces of racing equipment are put on, even veteran racehorses grow excited when the sights and sounds tell them a race is imminent. A racing official makes sure each horse is wearing the correct equipment, blinkers, bit, even earmuffs if necessary, exactly as they are advertised to the public.
Since early this morning, the horses have been examined twice. Now they are being looked at a third time by the stewards. Tension increases as the race draws near. 13 minutes to post. Horses grow taut from anticipation. Jockeys receive riding instructions. The crowd swells. Excitement grows. The betting pace quickens. These last minutes are the most important. This is when most people rush to the wagering windows. Betting is the lifeblood of racing. It pays for the show. The stewards take their places in the stand high above the crowd as the horses walk from the paddock to the racetrack. The horses must parade in full view of the crowd and the stewards who are alert for any problems. The racing veterinarian remains on duty, reporting to the stewards upstairs his observations of horses warming up. The last minute. Assistant starters greet each horse at the gate to prevent problems. All eyes are riveted on the starting gate. An ambulance is nearby in case of emergencies. The magical moment has finally arrived. No one has a greater command of the race than the stewards. They have the best view. Back in third comes Miss Flashy Miss, being followed by Dio Regenero in fourth. They followed by Aaron. Nova. The patrol judges down at trackside keep the stewards informed of everything that goes on. And the stewards have a battery of television monitors and other technology at hand to give them total command as the race unfolds. Running on fifth, top of the lane, Musical Pal has kicked a length and a half tier. On the inside, Era Nova not doing enough to get to Musical Pal. Miss Flashy misses next with Saucy Lady V. But it's the stewards Pal. watch to make sure all jockeys are using the whip correctly, making their best efforts to win while not abusing the horses. Saucy Lady V will be second, Miss Flashy Miss was third. While people downstairs are catching their breath, the stewards already are reviewing the race, calling up selected replays on their monitors. If warranted, they post the inquiry sign, but usually the race is without incident, so they make it official. Scrutiny continues even after the race is official. Some horses, the winners in particular, are taken into the testing barn, where urine and blood samples are collected. These specimens are properly identified and secured before being shipped to the official testing laboratory. Laboratories used by the California Horse Racing Board are very sophisticated and can detect tiny amounts of prohibited substances. A horse in a race must be drug free, except for certain certified therapeutic medications. Laboratories use the latest high-tech equipment. If there is anything illegal in the horse's system, the lab will find it. The stewards are prepared to hand out the appropriate penalties to the owner and trainer of the horse. In this way, horses are saved from abuse and the public is protected. Each year, 14 million people in this state enjoy horse racing, which, thanks to the California Horse Racing Board, is the fairest and safest racing anywhere in the world.